Welcome to the Elementor Pro. I'm Jared, and today we are going to integrate Calendly with Elementor. Now, I've built out a page here uh, that is just a simple landing page, and I want to put a calendar on it. I want people to be able to book time with me directly through Calendly, but I want that done on my website. So we need to embed a Calendly form on our Elementor site. And so how do we do that? Well, we have a page set up. So I'm assuming that you have a page set up and you want to get Calendly onto that page. We also need to have a calendar or a Calendly form set up here. And so we have this event type set up that I've called Elementor Consultation. And I, you know, if I view the booking page for it, you know, it, it shows the information, my dates, avail availability, and all of that stuff. So I've got that set up as well. Now I need to connect it to uh, my site. There's a couple ways that we can do that. The easiest way is just to embed it right into our page. So we go to the element and choose uh, the HTML element, and we'll put that right in down below. Then we go to Calendly, click on Share, click on Add to Website, and choose Embed in Line. And we'll click on that and just make sure that everything looks good. And we'll copy the code to our clipboard, go right back here and paste it. And now we have that entry right in here. Now, you'll notice that there's a little bit of scroll up and down here. That I don't like. I definitely don't want to have to scroll within a page. And so you can see here in the code that the height is 630. So I may need to change that to, let's see, 830. And now we're still scrolling a little bit. So we may just go with a full like 950 and see if that gets us and it gets us really close. We're still gonna have a scroll bar there, and you don't wanna use code to hide the scroll bar because if somebody ends up on a device where it's kinda of squished things a little bit weird, then you're gonna run into an issue uh, because they won't be able to swipe or scroll from within that. So now that we have that embedded, very nice, I can click on Publish. Now it's also uh, displaying this way because this area is set to a smaller width. And so if I look at the width here, you can see it's 600. If I deleted that 600, you can see it's a side by side and I wouldn't necessarily need that full 950 from this HTML element. And so I can go back in here and I could even shrink this down a little bit. But keep in mind that this embed that we just threw in there, it is responsive. It's responding to the width of the device. And so we want to make sure that this is going to look good, not only on a desktop, but also on mobile. So make sure to go into responsive mode and click on the tablet option and make sure that we can see everything and that nothing is being hidden. And then go into the mobile version, which is probably even more important, and just make sure that we see everything in here. You can see there's a little bit of scrolling that's happening in here, but it's not bad. It's not covering anything up. Um, everything is visible through the entire scroll, and that's what we want. We don't want anything to be cut off because for trying to get somebody to perform some sort of an action, we don't want to impede their ability to do that, so we want to make sure that this works well. Now, what we did here was embed this using just Elementor Element. It didn't require anything special, but we are embedding it in, and sometimes that can create issues like we saw with the sizing. We don't have any ability to style or change anything here, but there is a way to make things better. The Plus add-ons, which is an extension for Elementor, has the ability to go and add Calendly right in, and you can see it still looks good, it still is the Calendly layout, but it is a better overall integration uh, of, of inserting Calendly into your Notion page. You're not gonna end up with a scroll bar within like we do when we are on some of these different versions. We have a scroll bar within a page scroll bar, so you can see we're scrolling the page here, and then we're scrolling the embed here, which is not bad, but it's not the best experience. So I highly recommend, like if you're just wanting to make this as professional as possible, use the Calendly integration that the Plus add-ons have. I have a link in the description below to the Plus add-ons, so you can head over there and see what all that entails. Um, there is a cost, this has a cost, and so if you want this integration, you do have to purchase the Plus add-ons, but if you use the link that I have in the description below, 
It helps support the channel here. It is an affiliate link. That doesn't cost you anything extra, but making that purchase through our affiliate link helps support the channel here. So there's two different ways to do this. You can use the uh, plus add-ons integration, which definitely makes it a lot cleaner. No little scroll bars and weird stuff like that or you could simply just use the HTML embed like I am. The HTML embed works just fine as long as you cover the bases that I talked about earlier to make sure that nothing is covering up that form so that people can't get to you know, the submit button and all of that good stuff. And when they click on a date, like they, they don't, the dates don't get cut off and all of that. You wanna make sure that when you click through all of this, that it works. And that means going and testing this after you publish this page. And so now that we have this ready to go, I can click update and our page is ready. And once it is done saving, I can go to the page and just make sure that everything looks good. And this is a good looking page. This is very professional and it looks great. If I did go down to mobile, I would probably have that little scroll bar in there, but that's not gonna be that big of a deal. It looks great, it functions. As I click through everything here, everything looks good. Uh, I could fill out everything. You can see there's a little bit of scroll now for this because it got taller, but I still am able to access everything. And so I would wanna test this not only on desktop, but I would wanna test it on tablet and mobile as well, just to make sure we don't have any issues. So that is how you embed a Calendly form, a sign-up form, into your website, into an Elementor page. I give you two different ways to do that, one free, one a little bit better of an option, but does have a cost. So, yep, that's it. If you have any questions, ask down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel here on YouTube, and if you want email updates when we put out new videos or have new resources for you, there's a link in the description below to sign up for our email newsletter. But I do recommend clicking subscribe here so you be notified when new YouTube videos are put out, and it definitely helps our YouTube channel be found more in YouTube when you do that. So thanks in advance, and I hope to see you back here soon on the Elementor Pro. Take care.